Hey guys, it's Wayne Bosch Iverson here. Um, well, I got two pieces. Basically, I got a mail day sitting here, and then also I've got sort of a bully slash, I guess, spammer alert in a way. Um, Lurk Kid. Yeah. Um, I was warned by quite a few YouTubers not to deal with him. Uh, he's uh, scammed people in the past, and um, they were right. I did have him send first. He sent me three completely destroyed cards. I mean, just mashed. There was uh, corners were bashed. Uh, the paper was peeling off of them. They were in a horrible condition. And then he started getting really fussy. He started saying, "Well, I'll send you a minor jersey card to make up in compensation." No, that doesn't do it. And then he's like, "Well, I want them back so I can put them on eBay." Well, the problem is, is he also said that he was going to sell them as, uh, you know, mint condition. Um, so I'm sitting here with the problem of, what do I do? If I send it back to him, I'm essentially passing my problem on to three other people. Um, if I choose not to send it back to him, uh, he's getting pretty huffy, saying he's going to make a rant video, um, this, that, and the other thing. So he's a bully. I mean, let's face it, he's a bully. Um, I offered him as I told him that if he wants we can consider this half trade value for the three completely smashed up cards um, which then he said well a jersey card would be make up the other half well no it doesn't um, so my 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 I guess my piece of advice is to not deal with him it's not worth it um, and even when other pe if other people start telling you that he's a good guy, don't believe it. It's him behind it. He's not. Um, he sent first uh, because I made him send first, and he sent me three damaged cards. So that's the type of person he is. He's trying to cheat other people, and you know he's not going to get away with it with me. And I'm not going to let him pass that pass the problems that he's trying to cause to me onto other people. Uh, they don't need to start fighting with him through eBay and PayPal and crap like that um, because it's a lot harder to prove an item was damaged um, through the eBay claim system. Um, so that's what I've, I have decided to do. Um, I offered him that and now he's just sending me a bunch of really nasty sounding emails. Um, you know, bullying's not going to work on me. <laughs> it just won't. Now for the more interesting and fun stuff the mail day. So I got this big old lot off of eBay actually of a good wad of cards um, that were all two colors uh, or more so I thought it was kind of cool. So I got a two color Stefan Marbury, Channing Fry single color and Nate Robinson single color triple number to 249. That's actually a patch on the Marbury. That's why it's kind of an interesting lot. Uh, David West two color jersey actually three two color plus there's a piece of patch down there on the bottom left but it's not supposed to be number to 299 Jermaine O'Neal two color jersey from Fleer Avant that's just with a pinstripe number to 75 David West two color jersey just with a pinstripe this time it's number to 250 Got a Jason Richardson patch from 0304 Skybox Limited Edition. It's numbered in 99. Here we have a Rashard Lewis two color patch from his Seattle Supersonics days. That's number 5 of 98. Interesting numbering. Rookie and rookies and Stars, we have a three-break, two-color patch. Barely. <laughs> three breaks. Uh, of Nate Robinson. Sorry if I sound stuffed up. I'm a bit sick. Number to 250. Next, we have a Thaddeus Young, two-color patch. From Donruss Elite, number to 50. Oops. Then we have a Richard Lewis two color patch. 
number to 50 as well. For I Love My Bonnie 1, a three color nameplates patch of Michael Petrus. Really nice looking patch. That one's out of 253, or two, yeah, 253. Two color patch, interesting material of Gerald Wallace from Absolute. That's numbered 13 of 25. Next we have a three color Andrea Bargnani patch. Again from Absolute, number 10 of 25. Next we have the first patch I've gotten of him. Andres Biedrinch, two color patch from UD Game Patches. I think that might be a rookie. That's number to 25. Next we have a guy who's going to be a pretty good player, I think. A three-color patch, rookie auto, of Jared Dudley. Very nice. Two-color patch of Tracy McGrady. Then, Gindy3290 is going to love this one. Very nice three color, I think there's white there, three color patch of Latrell Spreewell. Spreewell patches are very, very rare. This is from Fleer Patchworks. It's number to 50, 22 of 50. If you guys can see that. Then we have, let's slide that to last. Then we have a dual patch of Brandon Wright and Jason Smith. Three color on the Smith, two color barely on the Brandon Wright. That's numbered to 99. Then we have a one, two, three, four, five break, six break, two color patch from the Cavaliers of Michael Cage. That's from Classics 0910. That's numbered 6 of 30. Then we have a really nice looking patch autograph. Three colors of Martel Webster. It's a nice looking card. It's numbered 15 out of 25 from Fleer EX. Love DX. Then the first of two tags. We have a tag of Steve Francis. That's numbered six of t or nine of ten, my lucky number. Then we have a tag of Andre Karolinko. It's a nice little card as well. Now on to the start of a new PC for me. Uh, this might surprise a few of you. These are the first two cards I've gotten in of him yet. It is not a basketball player, to make things a little more interesting. For my Seattle Mariners, the rookie, the all-star rookie last year, the hard-throwing sensation, Michael Pineda. So I will be starting a PC of him. Michael Pineda patches and autographs. Very interested in, or very short print stuff. Gives me a chance to look at some of the nice baseball products by collecting Pineda. Once again, I'm not collecting anybody else from baseball, just Pineda. And in 2010, he sent, uh, set a minor league record for strikeouts, 154 strikeouts. Very good pitcher. Very, very good pitcher. Got an amazing fastball uh, with a, light, a lot of life on it and a very nasty slider to go with it. He's working on a changeup and an off-speed pitch this year, uh, which if he adds those will make him very hard to hit. And then a very nice looking card of Michael Pineda. Michael Pineda, quad jersey, rookie auto, number 38 of 99 from Topps Triple Threads. He's an amazing one-two punch with Felix Hernandez up at the top for the Mariners. 
So guys, that's it for the mail day, and watch out uh, for Lurkid. Um, you know, protect yourself. He's probably going to make a rant on me. Uh, and so be it. I guess I'm going to have to believe that my reputation is going to withhold. I'm not going to deal with this. I don't have the time, I don't have the energy to to deal with drama on here. It's, it's not going to happen. Um, so, you know, if it affects me, then... I'm really sorry to believe that people believed him, um, but I, I really hope that it doesn't and that my re reputation, you know, sticks to what it has been. And you know, I've I've always been consistent on here, and uh, I don't think anybody else has ever had a problem with me. And uh, yeah, just basically, guys, take my warning and don't deal with him.